All right, we got Lauren Ryan of Florida State here. Just ran big PR 847 in the 3K uh, at BU. How are you feeling about the result? I'm pretty stoked. I mean, it's my first real indoor season in college, even though I'm a fifth year. I did uh, indoors my freshman year at Villanova, and then I transferred after my sophomore year, and then COVID. So it's nice to be on the track and have a great result that reflected, you know, years of hard work. Yeah. Were you thinking, like, what kind of time did you have in mind coming into this race? Um. I don't know, I saw the start list and I was like, it could be quick, but it also could be, you know, kind of around nine flat pace. Um, wasn't sure about Pacer and then there was Pacer, so kind of planned out perfectly. I, in an ideal race where everything was perfect, I was hoping to go sub 8.50 and that happened and went a little quicker than that. So yeah, I'm really happy and yeah, it was a world indoor standard for Australia as well. So I guess kind of ticked all the boxes, first real race this season. Yeah. Um, did a bunch of, you know, kind of time trialing races at Clemson, helping my teammates and getting some good work in, so it was nice to kind of have a result that's kind of reflected the work and yeah, now get ready for championship season. Yeah, so would you would you try to do the double NCAA indoors and then world indoors? I don't think so. I mean, it's nice to just have this standard in my back pocket. Who knows? Um, I guess we'll just go from, like, you know, see where things pan out, what event I want to do at NCAs. I also have Australian trials um, last week out of March, so a lot of traveling around and whatnot. So a lot to think about and consider for the rest of the season. Yeah, where did you finish at NCAA Cross? Uh, 26th. I had a really long season back home. I was running um, our Australian track season from November until April. So we kind of just decided it was such a long season racing um, that we'd use cross country as more of a like, base training and kind of just get some work under the legs and be ready for track. Um, yeah, I mean, I was 26th there, so it was first All-American. Um, Took that box, so it's just kind of more a work in progress, ready for track, kind of an actually targeting cross country as a season as a whole. Gotcha. Well, yeah, yeah. you've now run 847. People are going to pay attention. That's the NCAA mm -hmm. leader. That's, I think, yeah. the fourth best time on, you know, a 200 meter track mm -hmm. in collegiate history. So, like, does that change about how you think about yourself as a runner? Do you think about yourself as the favorite now in NCAAs? Uh, I don't know. I didn't even know um, that was my position. Kind of just going to go into the season as I had previously. Um, it's nice to get a mark out there, but at the end of the day, I kind of wish it wasn't, you know, number one in that sense. It kind of puts pressure on and that sort of thing. So try not to think about it, just go into the season and race and, you know, work hard with my teammates. Allison was in the race. Um, she's been running incredible. She was a freshman last year. Um, so COVID freshman, you know, exciting things to come. She's around 906, I think. So yeah, I mean, we have a great group of team, great group out there in Tallahassee working hard, just trying to get the results as a team. Yeah, and you said you were not totally sure what event you'd run at NCAA. Is that between the mile and 3K or 3K and 5K or what? Um, you I don't know. Um, I would really like to get in a fast mile. Um, kind of season's coming to a close, so we'll just, we'll see. Maybe a conference, who knows. I saw a load of 4.36, um, so we'll just kind of see what happens. I'd like to run a mile, but who knows. All right, well, sounds like you got a lot of big races coming up, so yeah. congrats on the run. Thanks for the time. Thank you.